Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and welcome back if you're joining me again. Today's class is a compact 35 minute vinyasa practice and it includes some calm flowing movements to help nourish and restore range of motion in your whole body. It's also the final class for 2022 as I'll be taking a short two week break over the holiday season from producing and hopefully I'll see you all back on the mat in the new year. I really hope you enjoy this practice. Thank you for joining me. Take care, stay safe, namaste. And begin your practice in child's pose at the back of your mat. Knees can be wide or narrow. Arms reaching forward to make it more active or arms alongside your body. Taking a few breaths here together to gather your attention and narrow your focus. Notice if there's any obvious areas of tension in your body that could soften in this shape. Inviting your shoulders to loosen, your expression to relax. You're setting the foundation for your practice with a relaxed, even breath. Feel your next breath flow in, your next breath out. And gradually deepening your breath, slowing its pace, and offering yourself a moment to pause. You're going to approach your practice today with the intention of freeing up energy, letting go and creating space. And to do that, aim to keep your attention with your breath as you move, slow and calm, and try and reduce resistance wherever you can. In every posture, there's always some activation and engagement needed, but in general, there's a not a lot of resistance needed. When we force or push it, it nearly always saps our energy and we don't need to create extra tension. So try and move and breathe or rest with ease as you go. If your arms were back by your body, extending your arms forward now, spreading your fingers, widening your palms and anchoring into your mat. As you feel yourself breathe in, glide up onto all fours, gently arch your spine, soften your belly, send the gaze up. And on your exhale, tuck your toes under, round your spine, hollow the belly and drift your hips back into child's pose. Twice more now, inhale all fours, flatten the top of your feet, arch your spine, and then exhale slow, tuck the toes, round your spine, take your buttocks to your heels. Moving with your breath, inhale all fours into cat. Exhale, tuck your toes round and land back in your child's pose. From here, walk your hands back to your knees now and bring yourself upright, sitting on your toes. Hug your heels in toward each other there. And on an inhale, cactus your arms out wide to the side, lift your chest. And then on an exhale, we'll take eagle arms, wrap your right arm over, left arm under. And here you can hold opposite shoulders or weave your palms to touch. On an inhale, raise your elbows. Exhale, send your forearms forward, widening that space of your upper back. Keep your arms in place and twist to your left. And then gently lower your right ear toward your right shoulder. So you're lengthening into the left side of your neck. Breathing a slow breath in. Your calm breath out. One more cycle of breath. 
softening your shoulders down as you breathe out. Coming back through center, float the crown of your head up, elbows forward, and then exhale, release, cactus your arms. Take another breath in here, lift the chest, exhale, opposite side, eagle arms, left arm over, right arm under. Inhale, raise the elbows to the height of your gaze, and then as you exhale, project your forearms forward. Keep that shape, just revolve now to your right, turning from your mid and upper back, and then lower your left ear toward your left shoulder. Pause and breathe there. Taking your mind and breath to the space down the right side of your neck. And as you're ready, coming back through centre. On your inhale, unwrap your arms, circle your arms overhead, raise your hips, untucking your toes there. And then exhale, all fours and pat your feet out. So just give them a little stomp and a stretch and we'll keep it flowing. Next breath in, extend your right leg back and then your left arm forward and balance. Bracing through your abdominal core. Take another breath in. On your exhale, curl in, bring your left elbow to your right knee. Inhale, reach and extend. Exhale, curl in. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach your right leg straight back, left arm forward. And then place your left hand to the floor. And guide your right leg out to your right side. Place the whole sole of your right foot to the floor in line with your left knee. On your inhale, arch your spine. And on your exhale, round your spine and then lean your buttocks toward your left heel. Any amount. Pause and breathe here. Keeping your right leg engaged, outer edge of your right foot grounded. And then next breath in, lift your buttocks. Slide your right foot in about a foot, bend your right knee and turn your right toes to point to three o'clock in a side lunge. With your hands on the floor, just start to circle and stir your right hip. So you're balancing on your hands, massaging some movement and freedom into your right hip. And then circle back in the opposite direction. And coming back to center, take your hands to your hips so you lift yourself upright. And then when you're ready and when you're steady, lunge toward your right knee and then pulse back. Three point lunge now, step your right foot to two o'clock. Lunge toward your knee and pulse back. Then step the right foot to 12 o'clock into a low lunge pulsing forward and easing back. Take your hands to the floor now, frame your right foot and step your right knee back to meet your left, returning to your child's pose. Taking a smooth breath in and a calm breath out. Changing sides now, gliding up onto all fours Reach your left leg back, right arm forward, find your balance. Take a deep breath in. Exhale three times, elbow to knee. Moving slow, letting your breath overlap your movement. Reach your left leg, right arm forward. Hold the left leg. Just take the right hand to the floor and then direct your left leg out to the left. Land and seal your foot to the floor. And then on an inhale, arch your spine. 
on your exhale round your spine buttocks to your heels hold and breathe here calm and steady on your inhale raise your buttocks slide your left foot in bend the knee and turn your toes now to nine o'clock keep your hands low circling through your left hip and feeling into the sensations that your body feeds back And reverse your circles. And then come back to centre. Lifting your torso, hands to hips, three point lunge, inhale here. Exhale, lunge a little deeper to your left. Inhale, ease off. On your exhale, step your left foot to 10 o'clock. Inhale here, exhale, lunge a little deeper, inhale, ease off, and then left foot to 12 o'clock, back to your low lunge, inhale, exhale, go deeper, sink the hips forward, inhale, backing off, and then hands to the floor, frame your left foot, and this time stepping back to a plank pose. Firm your hip points toward one another. Include your abdominals here. Engage your legs. Send your gaze lightly forward. Take a breath in. Create this shape. And then exhale. Lower all the way down to your belly. Coming into a locust cobra combination. Keep your head low here. Hands by your low ribs. Raise just your feet for Ada Shalabhasana. We're just starting to activate the posterior chain of muscles, your glutes, your hamstrings, spinal muscles. And then land your feet to the floor, press only lightly into your hands, lift the chest. Coming into Cobra Bhujangasan. And take one more breath in, ribs forward, heart high. Exhale, lower and press back, child's pose. Just for a beat, buttocks to your heels. And then in your own time, make your way into your first downward facing dog. And pedal and stretch, move and sway. And just notice how this shape feels in your body at this moment. Sensing where you may feel more spacious, the parts of your body that are perhaps a little less open and then adjust and align with that feedback you can explore a bend in both knees if your hamstrings are blocking you from feeling long and open through your upper body and then check in with your shoulders notice if you could offer your neck a little bit more space to lengthen by turning the armpits down toward the floor relaxing your head and then scan for any unnecessary gripping or resistance. And that might show up as trying to get your heels to the floor or a choppy breath or a stern expression. Letting go of resistance. And that's just simply accepting gracefully our limits and our restrictions and making our own unique adjustments from a space of acceptance. Take two more cycles of breath. On your inhale now, raise your right leg up and back. And on your exhale, step your right foot to your hands for warrior two. Rising on your inhale. And settle in on your exhale. Here to pause five cycles of breath. So as you linger, finding your comfortable lunge, your feet grounded, and then focusing on expanding your breath, your arms, 
and inviting your exhales to cue release so you're not recruiting your jaw for your effort. On your inhale now, reverse your warrior, just here for a breath. And then exhale, we mill your hands to the floor for runner's lunge twist. Pivot on your left toes, ground your left hand, circle your right arm up toward the ceiling. Stay for a few breaths. And you can sway a little forward in your lunge, rock a little back. Then turn a little deeper, left ribs towards your inner right thigh. Take a smooth breath in toward your right fingers. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Walk a quarter turn to your left for Prasarita Padottanasana. Two straight legs, angle your heels out. Lift up halfway. Exhale and fold between your legs. Five cycles of breath. Just quietly turning your attention in for feedback, staying receptive and sensitive to your present experience. On your inhale, lift up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk around to your right foot, preparing for half moon. Set your right toes to 12 o'clock, just as we did earlier. And then float your left leg, your left arm up, revolving to your left. Five steady breath to focus. And on your exhale, release, coming into runner's lunge just for a breath. Land your left toes, lift your heart. And exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Pause here if you'd like to rest or flow. Plank on your inhale. Lower to your belly. Locust cobra, head stays low, raise your legs. And then lower your legs. Cobra, lift your chest. Slow and steady on your exhale, child's pose, buttocks to the heels. And as you're ready, downward facing dog. Finding your even, calm tempo breathing. Breathing in and breathing out, full and complete. On your inhale now, raise your left leg up and back. On your exhale, step up, warrior two. Rising up as you breathe in. Settle in as you breathe out. Finding the shape of least resistance. Same time, engaged and focused. On your inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, runner's lunge twist. Point your right toes forward, right hand stays down. Circle your left arm up toward the ceiling. And just pulse your right thigh up to engage. Hug your left hip in to stabilize. And then revolve a little deeper to your left. Take one more breath. Exhale, left hand to the floor. This time, Skandasana, side lunge. Walk around to your right foot. Bend your right knee. Straighten your left leg. And flow over to your left foot. Straighten your right leg. Once more now, over to your right foot. Left leg straight. Then turn and lunge toward your left foot. Set up for half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Left fingertips to the floor ahead of your left foot and launch. Right leg, right arm lift and engage. Pause and breathe. 
Just trying to finish your exhales at the pit of your belly. You're staying mindful to activate your abdominal core to find your center. And then release runner's lunge, softly landing your right toes. Take a breath on the fingertips. Exhale, plant your hands, stepping back, downward facing dog. Option to flow or pause, rippling forward to your high push-up. If you're moving, exhale, lower to your belly. Locust here, legs lift. Lower your legs, chest lifts, cobra. Rolling back to your child's pose, empty your lungs. Downward facing dog as you're ready. Arriving here, smoothing out the rhythm of your breath. And settle your gaze steady. Finding that shape where you're not fighting with yourself, letting go of any unnecessary resistance. The absence of unease. Next breath in, gaze forward between your hands. End of your exhale, travel lightly to the top of your mat. Open and fold with your breath. Inhale, rise slow to stand, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, fold your hands to prayer at your heart. Three breaths to centre. Softening your jaw, your neck and your shoulders. Next breath in. Come into chair pose, Uttakatasan. Sweep your arms up. Stay for a few breaths. Equalize your effort with a sense of ease, so weight even into both heels, deep bend in the knees, activating your hips and your thighs, then find an easeful lengthening in your upper body, lifting your ribs away from your hips as you reach your arms into a wide V. On your inhale, press your palms overhead, exhale, lower your hands to your heart centre. Moving into a twist to your right, take another breath, fill up, exhale and twist, hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, here for five, keep some freedom and space in your torso, smiling your collarbones wider, and then press palm to palm to open your upper chest. On your inhale, return to chair, just here for a beat. Exhale, forward fold and release. On your inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, step your right foot back for pyramid pose. Two straight legs, run your hands up your legs, take a breath. Exhale and fold in. So you're welcome to place a micro bend in your left knee if that feels best. And activating the legs, grounding your feet. And try and experience your breath. Let it guide you here. On your inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, rise all the way up and transition into triangle pose. Reach your arms wide. Bump your hips away from your left leg as you reach forward, then down. Left hand to your shin, foot or the floor, right arm reaching up. And just try and make every exhale a small abdominal event. <laughs> It'll keep you steady 
and also harmonize and unify your upper and lower body here. Coming into side angle as you're ready, bending into your left knee, left forearm to your left thigh, reach your right arm up or overhead. Finding a shape that supports your full breath. Moving away from resistance toward freedom in your body. On your exhale release, hands to the floor and step up top of your mat. Open and fold with your breath. Inhale, rise tall, come to stand, two straight legs. Exhale, hands to prayer at your heart. Second side, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Motion your hips down and back, round your heels. Then reach to the edge of your fingers. On your inhale, press your palms overhead, lower your prayer hands to your heart. Take another breath, fill up. Exhale and twist to your left, right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Here for five, steady breath. Inhale, return to chair. Exhale, fold and release over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift and lengthen your waist long. Exhale, left foot back, come into your pyramid pose. Two straight legs, take a breath, create some space through the front of your torso. And then exhale, fold out over your right leg. Aim to keep your left leg engaged and notice if you have room to adjust your right hip back in space, your left hip forward to level your pelvis. On your inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, rise all the way up. And transition into triangle pose, trikonasana, arms reaching wide. Turn your torso to the left, then reach forward, then down, placing your right hand. Extending your left arm up. Breathing on purpose here. Your inhale's expanding your ribs, your side waist. Your exhale's corseting your abdominals to hold you steady. Side angle pose as you're ready, Pashvakonasan, bending your right knee, right forearm to your right thigh. Reach your left arm up or overhead. So keeping the arch of your left foot bright, your heel grounded, finding a freedom in your shape. So you're inviting the qualities of vitality and ease to come up to the surface. And as you feel yourself breathe out, release, fingertips to the floor and pause here. We're going to make our way into a seated twist. Toe healing your right foot over to the left lane of your mat and slide your left knee up next to the pinky toe side of your right foot. Take a seat. And any version of a twist here that agrees with you is fine. You might wish to take the left leg out straight to modify Set your right fingertips behind to the floor, extend the left arm up toward the ceiling. And on your exhale, twist to your right, hug or hinging your arm around your right knee. And on your inhale, send your gaze forward. Exhale, unwrap the legs and change sides. So coming into a twist that agrees with your knees and your hips. And concentrating on lengthening your low back up on your inhales, 
revolving with your exhales. So meeting any resistance with a softness and grace to ease off. So you can breathe your even breath. Take one more breath in and release, transitioning into Baddha Konasana, Bound Angle Pose. Take the soles of your feet together, knees wide. You can hold your ankles here or your feet and you can also remain upright here if you feel resistance in your hips already, working on lengthening your inner thighs toward your knees or you can fold forward energetically lifting your tailbone up and back and then the pubic bone down as you fold so that your whole pelvis tilts to create your fold and bow in. Gently ease your way back up. We'll transition into Upavishta Konasana, our final fold here. Extending your legs wide into a V. Toes flexed. And again, option to stay upright and you'd prop your fingertips behind you to the floor. Work on pressing the back of your legs into the mat. And finding a comfortable forward tilt in your pelvis. Or if you're quite comfortable there, walking the hands forward and folding toward the floor. So without straining, your effort here is, a, is more of an energetic focus. So you're moving yourself toward calm, a softer breath, a slower cadence. And then releasing. If you'd like to grab any additional layers for a brief rest in Shavasana or seated meditation, just taking them now. And just a final minute here of practice, either laying back or upright, inviting yourself to be still, letting your effort soften so your mind, anybody, can let go and rest. And I'll be back to guide you back. And if you do have more time and you're enjoying the rest, please feel free to stay. Otherwise, gently widening your awareness to the sounds, the space around you, waking your body up with your breath. And then bending your knees if you're laying back, feet to the floor. Softly roll out to your right side, take a moment to pause. Blinking your eyes open, taking in the light of your room. And then gently drag your way back up to sit.
Thank you so much for joining me for this compact flow. Wishing you all a wonderful week ahead. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.